my name is Jay Haskamp and I'd like to welcome you to another Frontier Precision Tech Talk video. Today's session we're going to run through the process of performing a level loop with the Denny level from Trimble, then adjusting the level run in Trimble Business Center, and then applying the leveled elevations to our control points in a project. So the Denny level is a digital level. It comes in accuracy levels of 0.3 millimeter or 0.7 millimeters. It's a pretty slick tool because it integrates digitally right with your survey data and Trimble Business Center. And it uses a special rod as you can see on the right here. It doesn't use a standard leveling rod. It uses a rod with, with barcodes on it. So let's take a look at how this process is done. So on our Dini display we have a screen showing files, configuration, survey, and calculation. These are the different menus we will use. Um, on the right hand side of the screen we have our numbers that we will use also for letters. We have the uh, direction keys, the enter key, alphanumeric key, escape key, and trimble key. In the middle we have a button which is to take our measurements and the on off button. So we're going to go into our files menu and here you can see we have the project menu, the editor, data import export, and memory. So we're going to scroll up and pick project menu. Uh, we have a bunch of different options in here so we can either select a project which is number one create a new project number two rename an existing project by picking three delete a project by picking four or copy data between projects so we're going to go to number two new project and the first thing we need to do is give this project a name so i'm going to change my number keys to the alphanumeric and enter an example and then I'm going to down arrow for the operator and I will just put my my initials in here really quick and then we will hit enter and enter again to store. Now you can see up on the top of the screen under project it says example which is the project that we just created. So now we go back to the main menu by hitting escape and we'll go to number three survey and in here you can see there's options for single point measurement, there's an option for line leveling, intermediate sites, stakeout, and continuous measurements. So what we're going to do here is we're going to pick number two for line leveling because we're going to run a full loop. And then we can either start a new line or use an existing one. So we're going to start new and we're going to go down and call our line number one. And then our measuring method, we have a bunch of options here so we can go back site, foresight, we can shoot back site, two foresights, and then a back site. We can go back site, foresight, back site, foresight, shoot two back sites and two foresights, or shoot the foresight, two back sites, and then the foresight. So for what we're going to do, we're going to do back site, back site, foresight, foresight. We're going to hit enter and enter in our first point, which is going to be number one. Now it's important to note here that your points, if you want to overwrite the elevations in an existing project with RTK data, you want your point numbers to exactly match the point numbers of the points from your other data set that you want to update the elevations for. So we're going to start on number one, and we're going to enter in our benchmark height of 1048.4960. We're going to hit enter and enter again to start. Now you can see we're on our first station, station number one, and up in the upper right hand corner we're going to shoot our first back sight. So we're going to position the rod on our benchmark and we're going to focus in on it and when we're ready to go we're going to hit the space bar either on my emulator or the blue button on the on the actual Denny to take a measurement. So there's our first one. You can see it's onto the second back sight now in the upper right hand corner shoot the second one and now we're off to shooting the first four sites. So you can see now it's going to ask for a point number um, to shoot our, our uh, four sight. If we first want to take some side shots we would hit the Trimble button and this brings us up to the functions menu and if we hit number two for intermediate measurements this allows us to take side shots before we turn through the four sight to the next station. So I'll pick number two and we're going to take a few side shots. So the first one we have is going to be, let's see, 51. And I'm just going to leave the code blank and we're going to take our measurement. We have another side shot, so we're going to go back up and change the name to 50. We're going to measure by hitting the blue button on the Dini. 
I think we have two more, so we're going to do number 10. We're going to hit the blue button again to measure. And then we have number 52, and we're going to measure that one more time. When we're done with the side shots, we simply hit the escape button, and it'll say, do you want to terminate the immediate sights? We're going to hit yes, and now it brings us back to our station where we can now um, turn our first foresight, as you can see indicated in the upper right-hand part of the screen on the dinny. So we're going to key in number two for our foresight or our next point. We're going to measure our second foresight measurement. We're going to take it again. And now you can see we've moved to station number two, and it automatically knows to backsight point number two. So we would just repeat the process of doing our double backsight and doing our double foresights. Now I have a lot more points to measure in this project here, so instead of going through each one, um, I'm just going to skip ahead in the video, and we will now show you how we uh, close the loop back on our beginning point. Okay, so we've run through our loop. We are now on station number eight, and we are ready to close into our starting benchmark of point number one. So when we're in our foresight measurement, we're gonna enter in point number one. We're gonna use the same number and we're going to hit the blue button on the dinny to take our measurements. And once we have both shots to point number one, we hit the escape button because our line is done. And it'll ask if we want to end with closing benchmark. We hit enter for yes. And then we have point number one in there. And we need to scroll down and again enter in our benchmark height that we started with, which is going to be 1048. Um, let's see, 4960. We're also going to go back up and um, switch to the alpha mode and put in our benchmark um, for our code here. So we're going to type in B M and then we'll hit enter and enter to continue. Now here we'll just see a screen that has our leveling results without anything being adjusted and we can escape back out to the main menu here. Uh, hit escape one more time and under files we do have the option to do an import export of data to an external device but I'm going to use Trimble data transfer um, to get this to work you need to create a new device and in the device list there is a Dini digital level but you actually want to keep scrolling down to the bottom for Trimble Dini USB device and hit OK and you can give it a name. So I've already done that. I have a device called Trimble Dinny, and if it's plugged into my computer, I just hit the little connect button with the green check mark, and it'll it'll connect up. So now I'm in TBC. I have my project um, downloaded. So you can see here a little bit of background on this is points one, two, three, four, five, and six are points that were set, and we did a uh, several hour static session and ran a network adjustment on them and then we used our base station on top of the building to measure those points again with RTK and calibrate into them to hold their horizontal positions and then measure some additional um, points that we set out around the uh, office complex here um, with some longer um, RTK topo shots. So now these are the points that we leveled through. Here's our DAT file that's downloaded from the Denny, so it, it can be opened in Notepad and you can see every uh, thing that was done. The DAT file can be imported into TBC by simply just doing a drag and drop, or in this case, I'm just gonna go to the folder and you can see that it recognizes that it's a leveling file. And when we bring it in, we get our level editor. So this is where we can review all of our uh, level data in the editor. And when we want to make our level adjustment, we go down to the lower right-hand corner of the screen and choose Adjust Runs. And there's our run number one. We hit Adjust, and it makes our um, adjustments. So now we have an adjusted run. Um, the check marks on the left mean that it's going to create those elevations in the project. So I want to do it for my turning points. I'm going to go through and check all these boxes here. And what will happen now is on the bottom, I have some creation options. So I can either allow a network adjustment by just creating um, elevations for these points um, as an additional record, or to prevent further adjustment, I can just have control quality elevations assigned to these points. So this is where it's critical to keep the point numbers the same in the level run as in your project. So when I hit OK, it imports the level data 
and now you can see all of my points have these square symbols by them which means they have control quality elevation so if I look at point number 10 and I open up the properties you can see that we have a survey quality northing and easting but the elevation now has the control quality uh, mark next to it same with point number one which is our benchmark properties you can see there's our benchmark elevation with the control quality symbol so now we have all of our uh, control finished we have all of our points leveled through and we have those leveled control quality elevations assigned to all of our RTK and static measurements that we have around the office and that concludes our tech talk on running the DINI level to set control quality elevations with our survey data and TBC. Hope you found this beneficial and will join us again next time. Thank you.